Good morning, Granada. I'm Lauren. And I'm Zach. This is your video LV so for September 11th, 2014. So studio broadcasting, students come in um, who are interested in the broadcast industry or who just want to kind of experiment and see what it's like. Um, there's a lot of different things that students can do in studio like audio work, video work, um, graphic work, reporting and um, writing the news stories, um, going out to events and filming. So there's a huge variety of things for students to be able to do. The overall service that we provide and, and it's kind of our overall goal is really to provide the service of news reporting at Granada so that the Granada community gets to hear about what's going on. Um, we want to be able to cover all the games, we want to be able to cover all the dances, all the rallies, all the different events that are going on around campus. Eventually we want to be able to have all of that highlighted in the news. Last week was Spirit Week. Tuesday, students embraced the fashion statement of Socks and Sandals Day. Wednesday, people were sporting facial hair for Mustache Day. Thursday, the Matadors set sail for Pirate Day. And Friday, the students celebrated Black and Gold Day. The music department would be holding a fundraiser at Menchie's Frozen Yogurt from Thursday to Saturday. Bring a flyer into Menchie's and a portion of your purchase will go to the music department. The Red Cross Club is hosting the first blood drive of the year. The blood drive is on Tuesday, September 16th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. If you are 16, you must pick up a parental consent form from Ms. Miller in S2 before donating. You can prepare by drinking and eating a few hours before and getting a good night's sleep. One pint of blood can save three lives. Sign up today and donate. Are you looking for a job or volunteer work? Visit the window of opportunities in the Career Center for a variety of jobs available. Now is a recap of the back to school dance. Hey boys. All right, Eduardo, what do you want to say to the world? I just want to tell all the Mexico fans who watch the World Cup something. Really? And what is that? No era penal. What's that mean? Wasn't a penalty. something random here. What is it? Terry and his natural habitat. It's not too early to apply for scholarships. Please see Ms. Mintz in the Career Center to see what local scholarships are available. A representative from Ryder University will be on campus today to meet the interested students. There will also be a representative from Northern Arizona University tomorrow. And here's Nick and Zach with your sports news. This past June, Granada's own Casey Soltis was drafted in the fifth round of the 2014 Major League Baseball First Year Player Draft. He was drafted by the Miami Marlins with the 137th overall pick. In 33 games with their Gulf Coast League team, Casey recorded 32 hits and an on-base percentage of 355. Casey received the Rawlings High School Gold Glove Award, an award recognizing outstanding defense during the 2014 spring season. He was one of nine high school players in the country to receive this award. In scores this past week, JV and Varsity Girls Volleyball lost to Logan, but the JV girls rebounded the next day, beating the West Wolf Pack, while the Varsity team lost. A day later, however, both the JV and Varsity teams beat Dublin High, 
Over the weekend, the varsity girls traveled to Milpitas to participate in the Milpitas Tournament, where they won their bracket with three wins and two losses. In football action, the JV team beat Antioch 14-12, while the varsity squad lost 21-6. Let's check out some highlights from that game. That's all that we have for Athletics Today Matadors, and we'll see you again next week. Thanks, guys. Seniors, in 10 months, you'll be graduating and moving on to experience new things. A part of that might be college. What are you going to do? Four-year university, community college, or trade school? Going online and researching schools is always a good start, but the best thing to do is visit the schools you have an interest in. For information, see Ms. Mintz in the Career Center. Now it's time for a chatterbox. Uh, hello Granada, um, Kyle Chong here, uh, if you don't already know me. Um, sadly, Quinlan has left Granada. Um, he's a bird that flew out of his nest trying to pursue greater pastures and just become a successful man in life. And let's all have a moment of silence for the loss of Quinlan at Granada. All right, now back to my segment. So, Tara, what did you do over summer? Um, I blew up stuff in Nevada for the 4th of July. That was cool. Nice, I blew stuff up too. What did you blow up? I blew up some fireworks. Cool, I blew up a water heater. Wow, okay. <laughs> Mr. Porner, what's the best thing you did over summer? Best thing I did this summer was taking three weeks of vacation. A week in Cancun with my wife, that was the end of it. It was pretty awesome. It was very, very hot though. I like that. Yeah. So uh, Anthony, what's the best thing you did over summer? Well, I shred some gnar, wrote my own memoirs, and uh, read some pretty good graphic novels. So, that's about it. That's really nice. Yeah, I love you, man. Love you too. So Lane, what's the best thing you did over summer? Uh, this summer, Kyle, I talked to myself, but not as the person you see before you, Kyle. I talked to myself as a spirit, and I relived my own birth. That's really deep. That's really deep. <laughs> nah, dude. <laughs> come on, come on. Nah, dude. Come on. Nah. One thing. Nah. One thing. Nah, dude. <laughs> I don't like you. Thanks, Kyle. The College and Career Fair will be held on October 15th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. There will be over 100 schools from around the country. See you there. And here is TrevBot TV. Good morning, Granada. Welcome back to a brand new school year. And what's the best way to kick off a new year? A new segment. Here's TrevBot TV, where I'll be talking about all the different nerd stuff and all the different movie, music, and video game news. In some movie news, The Rock was casted last week for the role of Black Adam in an upcoming DC film. Now who the heck is this Black Adam character? Well, he's the arch nemesis of the DC hero, Shazam. Black Adam was an Egyptian ruler who lived in the 21st century fighting notable challengers who stood in his way. Hopefully, The Rock can live up to the role of Black Adam. There was an Instagram photo that may have leaked some insight as to what the new Avenger, Vision, will look like for the new Avengers movie, Avengers Age of Ultron. In this picture here, you can see Vision right above Captain America looking pretty sweet. Avengers Age of Ultron premieres May 1st, 2015. That's all the news I have for you today, Granada. See you next time. Well, that's all for today, Granada. Have a great day and we'll see you next week. Stay classy, Granada. <laughs>